being gay then for me was being on a different planet. Mm. You know, you couldn't you couldn't go up and say, say I'm gay mm. because first they wouldn't know what I'm gay meant. If you said I'm queer, mm. they would either shun you or hit you. Mm. And at the time, did you know? I mean, I'm assuming you knew other gay people who no. were open. No, you didn't. No, that's the whole point. I didn't. I didn't know. I thought I was the only one in the world. When I was 16, and I knew there was something different about me, because I knew I didn't fancy girls, and I was in, in fact in love with a, with a straight guy, my best friend, uh, uh, and I couldn't tell him or anybody else. So I used to make out I was like everybody else. I couldn't, there's nobody else to talk to. We didn't have counsellors then, that you've got now. You couldn't run to, a, to, to a, somebody and ask for advice, because there was no one to run to. At least no one that I knew you could run to. It was just um, me in a bubble. A bubble that I was, tried to get out of. Didn't want to be this person. Was frightened of being this person. Was scared of being this person. It was, it was horrendous. But I had to live with it and work with it and keep it to myself. Which eventually does eat you away. Yeah get to the stage where you, you want to scream, you know, I'm not like everybody else. Even when I joined the army, when I was like, 19, 20, joined the army. Did you already know you were gay when you joined the army? I didn't know it was called gay. No, I'm using today's parlance. So, uh, were you aware of your... Yes, yes. Yeah. And I thought by doing so, if I was with all these normal heterosexual men, then that would rub off onto me and I, I would be right there. Oh, you'd be cleansed of your... I would be cleansed of my, my curse, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's a hell of a price to pay, isn't it? It was a price to pay because it didn't work. Mm.